Kurson on the Mesa Yakri. So on the anchor, Kurson 345 Yakri. And on the anchor, it's at that corner. Surda Nazivaitsa. Ruminal. 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 Пришло это судно вот у нас 5, 5 числа в 10 часов 40 минут. First is the uh, timber. Then they the complex put out, it's 100% mechanized almost, and it's um, pulp, not pulp, chips, which is chips. Yeah. 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 It's considered the most mechanized port in the country, very little uh, labor. I think we should go there, there is still another side. It's still there, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's still there. But one of the serious problems is that the city is clean. Even though we're considered a very clean city, we're already starting to have the city work. Next year, we're already starting to have the city work. 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 We have all the firms that let out yeah. wastewater. We have a problem. So we're trying to clean it, but it's not enough. And also our oil base has a big advantage. I'd like to say that I swim every evening at 9 o'clock. Сейчас запроектировано, уже ведется проектирование и начнется строительство, видимо, где-то с следующего года второй очереди водяного комплекса, склада калийных.
will be lasting and valuable to both of us. And I would like to thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your kind hospitality uh, to me and to all of my delegation. To your health. Это свидетельство того, что объединившись is, великие народы могут. И сегодня, today, когда тихоокеанский uh, русский народ on, on, uh, what, uh, people, и народ Америки, и это опять же заслуга русского
Bruce is going to be standing right over his shoulder. Hey, Bruce. You kind of move one way or the other. <laughs> okay. okay. Just, uh, well, first of all, let me get you to state your name and your title, just so we have it on camera and place on the tape. Okay. I'm Yuri Vostok from Vladivostok, the Vladivostok Department of Chamber of Commerce and Industry, USSR. And you have been involved in uh, Alaska-Soviet relations for some time now. Generally, how do you think things are going? Just what's the status of relationship? Well, I think uh, that several years ago, no one could imagine, I mean, here in the city of Vladivostok, that we would host the delegation from Alaska, because for a long period of time, Vladivostok was considered to be a strong naval base here in the forest. But nowadays, we have contacts with Americans, with Japanese, with other countries, businessmen, uh, scholars come to our city. Well, and we, I'd say, have close contacts with Alaska, Alaskan businessmen. Well, I think we have much in common uh, with Alaskans. That's why we have uh, great mutual interests, common interests concerning uh, industry, concerning uh, science and other branches, other spheres. One of the uh, things that we've talked about earlier is the uh, relationship that Vladivostok has with Moscow, which is similar to the relationship Alaska has with Washington, D.C. Well, yes. I think Alaska and Vladivostok are very similar concerning the distance between the capital of the state, I mean the USSR and USC. Well, <clears throat> there's a great shift of time, for example, a great distance, and that's why a great shift of time between Vladivostok and Moscow. Of course, there arises a problem concerning communication or making decisions between our state, our uh, city and Moscow. Uh, last night I told you that, for example, if I want to uh, solve a problem, I make a telephone call, but I have to do it at uh, 4 p.m. Uh, because uh, Offices in Moscow start their work at 9 p.m., but that is uh, a.m., uh, that is uh, Moscow time. And the shift is seven times. Of course, uh, there, there are some drawbacks about these distances. And I think just the same uh, problems you have in Alaska. What sort of potential do you see for? relations in the future between Alaska and uh, particularly the Vladivostok region? Well, <clears throat> I think uh, the economy and the structure of economy is much uh, similar in Alaska and uh, in the Soviet Far East, I mean uh, Primorsk region in particular. I, have, I think we have, can have mutual projects in uh, fishery, uh, catching fish and fish processing, uh, and timber processing, uh, in processing of raw materials, minerals, something like that. Okay, I think that'll do. Thank you very much. Not much.
Can I get one of those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, how much is that one? Well, oh, which one of these should we get for share? They both look half one. That one we're holding. Yeah, this is the last one.